Hi Paragon Mills artists. I hope you're doing well, staying healthy and practicing that physical distance. Uh, this is our third, our third or fourth now a mural visit and artist feature. And today I would like to introduce you to Lakeisha Moore. She's an artist here and also a teacher, a professor. Hi Lakeisha. Hey, how are you? Hello, young artist. Nice to, nice to uh, I guess, say hi or meet you. Um, I wish I could do it in person, but uh, we're here on video, so. <laughs> well, thank you, um, Lakeisha. Lakeisha, can you tell our artists what you do in Nashville? I work at Tennessee State University in the art and design department. I am an art education coordinator and I teach studio courses. Great, and what made you want to teach and what drew you to art? Well, I've always been an artist. I think I started painting, drawing, or at least drawing and using uh, pastel colored pencils uh, in first grade. I remember a, a drawing that I did from first grade and I, and I don't have a lot of memories from when I was little, but that's one memory of me making art and um, creating. So yeah, I've always, I've, I've always done that. I, I think I became more serious uh, in middle school in eighth grade. Wow, that's incredible. That's a great story. I can almost imagine you as a little kid and getting those oil pastels. I know my students at Paragon Mills love oil pastels, just the way that you can really blend colors really smoothly. So you brought us to this mural. This is so everybody, we're in East Nashville. There's Gallatin Avenue and Eastland. So if you're familiar with this side of town. And before um, Lakeisha mentions anything, I want you to, for this week, for this week's assignment, I want you to think of the importance of lines, of how we see lines in our environment. Like right now I'm stepping on this stone and there's just lines everywhere and lines really inspire artists and that's one of the things i want you to think about for this week well how do you see lines and how do they uh how are you able to create with them so lakeisha why why of all the murals in nashville did you bring us to this one to teach us a little bit yeah. well normally i'm in north nashville and there are some beautiful murals there um, but I grew up about two streets two main streets over off of Dickerson Road uh, so this is an area that I'm, I'm I grew up uh, not too far from and when I first saw this on the wall I, I shop at the Aldi next door when I first saw this on the wall I was I was shocked I was like where'd this come from because I'm a painter and I like to work with bold colors and I saw all the colors that that this mural has on it and I was immediately drawn to it um, and one thing that I like to highlight is the the map over there I really like maps um, because they are symbolic for whether it's travel showing showing what direction you can go but they also kind of leave things open-ended you know you don't always have to follow the prescribed route to, to places you can you can make your own and so I really like the fact that that map is in the corner and all the lines they kind of shoot off into the, the various parts you have the fruit and the vegetables and then you have this east side you have the the, the letters themselves too are here and then you, you go back into image and I think there it the, the way it was designed um, the kind of collage and piece together I uh, really creates this impactful um, statement and, it, and it's a, a bold statement that that deals with food travel place and I think too belonging as well um, but yeah that, that's kind of why I chose this 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 place or this mural I heard you use the word collage um, I understand collage as you know when we're thinking of um, like paper um, I know some of my students did a weaving project this year and a lot of you took tissue paper and construction paper to create your um, your sea creatures. Um, but how would you explain your idea of collage, Lakeisha? Okay. So even when I, I make paintings, sometimes I will take pieces of paper from newspaper, cl newspaper clippings 
and I pieced them together on a sheet of paper first and then I transferred onto a canvas or panel and so the the way I see the the, the muralist here the east side mural company the way I see them doing this is the the fact that they they've overlaid these images whether it's the map on top of this blue these two different types of blue then you have this this branch of the peach tree that's coming over so you're you're overlapping images you're overlapping the colors and they're coming together next to each other you know just kind of creating this whole image even though they're very different things so for me a collage is definitely bringing things that are different but putting them together where they can create this harmony um and this uh Something that, 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 that just makes sense when it comes together, um, whether it's through color, image, line, um, you name it. Well, it's really incredible. So the first week we started these, we, we talked to an artist, Omari Booker, and he talked about value or different shades and tones of the same color, the same hue. And then yes, uh, last week we talked to RJ Thompson from the uh, Narv Arts Collective, and he also talked about his use of color and and just so how you can lighten a color and darken a color, and the different effects you get. And then just hearing your description of color is incredible as well. Just three different artists, three different perspectives. One of the things that the, our school is doing now at Paragon Mills Elementary is a. Um, talking about catching people reading because we were really trying to um, you know practice and really love literature and li literacy uh, what are some of your art um, authors or books that really inspire your artwork um, I will say that I'm not sure if a lot of the books I read necessarily inspire my work but the ones that I read a lot um, Khalil Gibran is one of them. I like his sayings, his writings, uh, the the poems in which he talks about life, and he's creating this um, this portrait, if you will, of, of of a person, of teachers, of women, of love, and and how he describes life and how he describes the universe um, are really impactful. It kind of makes me think of you know we, we were. We we're talking about the, the the use of the image as as a as a symbol as as something that relates to something else. Um, his work uh, tends to relate to, to to use a lot of symbols that relate, you know, to um, maybe how I'm feeling or different conversations that I have with people. Because I think words are so powerful. Um, the fact that they're on the paper and then you can. You can speak them, you can read them. They 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 come alive and create this 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 whole image for you. So that's a lot like painting, and you know whether it's painting in a public space or painting at home on the canvas. Um, yeah, he's definitely a, a favorite of mine, Khalil Gibran. Well, yeah. I am definitely gonna look him up. Yeah. Uh, well, I I love doing these because I I'm always learning different things, and especially different art projects to um, to create myself and then for you all to create and I love that Lakeisha mentioned collage so I think that would be a fun one to do this year uh, this week if you all can go around your homes maybe go around your neighborhoods I know we've been working a lot with sticks and flowers and stones um, but maybe instead of just creating one work of art with one single material let's do a collage maybe Work, see if you have newspaper or magazines that you have permission to use from your family members and create a work of art that, um, that inspires you. Maybe you want to create something about nature or maybe something, just something that you just create on your own by your thoughts. Well, thank you. Thanks, Lakeisha, for thank joining you. us. <laughs> thank you, Paragon Mills artists, and hope to see you very soon.